got the bibster body off. I think what I want to do is I want to strip this thing down. Um, there's too much color in it for me. Been kind of wanting it back to bare metal for a while just so it has the proper look because obviously the color is not what I want. And I need all the paint and all that stuff off it just so I can do some metal work. It's time to do some sheet metal stuff. And so I'm going to pull the body off. Probably started stripping it already with the uh, Eastwood thing called SCT surface conditioning tool I think is what it's called and uh, it works awesome so you can see that it just strips the paint bondo poly any kind of poly coating uh, strips everything right off of the right off the metal leaves the perfect finish so my vision on this thing is the entire the entire car the entire body to kind of look like this have this brush looked in it I'll uh, either clear it or shark hide the entire thing and I just want that rawness super fresh super clean brushed rawness that's what I'm after on this thing so kind of give you some vision on what I'm what I'm looking for problem is a lot of these little crevices and stuff I won't be able to get with the SCT and so what I may do is I'm uh, I actually looked for somebody locally that did uh, like a dustless blasting. So I'll probably hire somebody to either come out here or I'll take this to them, get it dustless blasted. What I'll, and then what I'll do is once it's all clean, I'll put my, you know, the stuff that's been blasted that I haven't got a grain in. I'll actually take the SCT, I'll actually take that service conditioner and go in here and condition it all, put a grain in everything that I can reach. The stuff I can't reach, I'll try to put as much grain in it as I can by hand and then uh yeah just start adding to it clear it pickle it kind of preserve it for now and then start adding the extra body panels to it while this is off and all that is happening though gonna put some work into this bad boy so i mean a lot of it's done the main structure is done but there's a lot of bars that still need to go in this i want to put some bars that kind of tie this dash bar into this hoop here kind of tie those two pieces together um i mean you can see that the front suspension is kind of tied together through those x bars and so all that's pretty stiff but i'd love to tie that into the trans tunnel section so that's got to be done i want to build like a little sheet metal pocket that goes in here for the gas pedal um what else so I'm probably going to put some kind of kicker bars that go in between here. Either triangulate it this way or that way or something. Probably this way. Same thing up front. It's off something that comes from here down in some way, some form or fashion. Maybe from like there to there. I really want to do that for like two reasons. For one, structurally it's going to make it super strong. And the other thing is it'll be easy to make panels. I can basically break those panels up where the bars end and so I can make a triangle piece for the back section, one square piece for the middle section, uh, you know, like a triangle type piece for the upper section and just break them all up. Uh, those will all be carbon fiber so it won't have to be one huge piece. Next thing on the agenda as well besides what I've already mentioned and finishing up the brakes. Get some floor pans in this thing. Probably going to order some like three quarter by eighth inch strips and kind of weld those in on the tubes themselves have something to attach the aluminum floors to and then I'll start cutting those and bead rolling those up
Well, I got one bar fit. So the idea is that it just ties into that main hoop, which in turn supports the engine. The engine's actually mounted to this main hoop here. So you kind of bring it out, tie it into these, which is what supports the weight of this thing. So the weight's held here, kind of transfers through. So I'll probably do another one. Comes off this side here, attaches over there. Um, it'll also add some rigidity if there was to happen to have some kind of side impact on this side or the other side um, it's going to kind of triangulate that a little bit strengthen it up you know allow it to not kind of come in right there in that particular spot Things like a big adult go-kart. Back when I was working on this thing, kind of before I stopped for pits or whatnot, I had a lot of comments about taking this thing out like it is, driving it around. I'm sure that'll happen. It's not anytime soon. So literally that bar right there, just kind of give you guys an idea of what it takes to kind of fit all these pieces together. That bar to cut and notch this thing to get it to fit perfect and you see joints are super tight on both sides just to get that thing to fit like it is took me about two hours and uh, I'm sure there's some of you that are like what two hours for that but what happens is you kind of notch one side, you get that angle right, and you kind of guesstimate on the other side. And usually it's a little bit too long, and so you just kind of notch away a little bit at a time because you don't want to overcut. So you kind of just creep up on it. And then once you get close, you start fine tuning it with um, some kind of flap disc with a grinder, and it just takes a lot of massaging. Ones like that where it's compound cuts you know that cuts this way and this cuts that way and the different angles they get pretty tough so anyway there you go a little progress on the bibster uh progress is good even if it's just a little bit we're making uh we're making steps we're getting one step closer and the fact that the body's off now makes me want to rock and roll on this thing so there you go as always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. Go do work, son.